In the config output screen, set the EQ type to PEQ and FBA for all outputs where you want to use the feedback assistant. You can then go to the processing screen and outputs tab and select the FBA on an output to see and adjust its settings. The graph at the top of the screen shows the current filters and the real-time analyzer. By default, the detect hold button is turned on so no filters are being applied. Before releasing this, choose whether you want fixed or live filters to be applied to any detected feedback frequencies. Fixed filters should be used whenever you want the filter to remain, so these are used to ring out a system or a room. Live filters will automatically recover at a speed set by the live recovery control. These are designed to be used if you think there might be feedback at times during an event, but you want the filters to be temporary. When setting up the system, set the motor fixed and turn down the overall output level on the right hand side. Then set up your microphones, set approximate gains and processing, and the send levels to any outputs where you are using the feedback assistant. The reason for keeping the overall output level at this point is to avoid feedback until it needs to be detected. Back in the feedback assistant section, turn detect hold off, then gradually raise the output level fader. As feedback starts to occur, you will see up to 12 fixed filters being applied. Once the output level has been raised higher than it will be required, it can be reduced again and the hold can be applied again so the fixed filters remain but no new filters are added. To use the feedback assistant live, simply set the mode to live and release detect hold. Any feedback will now have a live filter applied and any live filters will continuously recover at the speed you set. To make adjustments to filters, go to the Adjust tab at the bottom left. In here you can see all 16 filters, whether they are in use as fixed or live, adjust their width or cut individually or all at once, and reset them one by one. To reset all filters at once, use the drop down menu at the top right and select Reset but be sure to turn down the output level first or this could cause a huge amount of feedback.